And now we're going to bring in Bob Moore. As a disclaimer, I am working with Bob Moore, but for a good reason, because Bob Moore has a lot of financing products, but not only for the general business audience that watches this show, but even for my other publication is Michigan Marijuana Report, not the consumer side, but the business side and getting loans for cannabis and hemp folks right now, because cannabis is still listed as a uh, federal one uh, listed drug, which means that uh, you know, until it passes on a federal level, a lot of the really big players, big banks, big whatever, all those folks don't want to uh, participate in that space. Uh, on businesses, uh, we're already in a recession because you can tell uh, prices are up and they're, they want to curb demand and uh, and now just in the grocery stores, you don't go in there and buy a whole bunch of stuff. You buy just what you need. Yeah, that really is happening. I mean, yeah. then, even if you can find just what you need, I tend to go to the big Meyer stores and even them, uh, there's a lot of aisles that are pretty empty or don't really have much stuff on the shelves. So everyone's struggling right now. Yeah, but there, anytime we have problems, we have opportunity. So there's, there's always going to be those people that's uh, like, okay, we've got opportunity here. And that's, and that creates a, a chance to make money and help people. And if you make, if you help enough people, you'll make money. Okay. Which is the way it works. Yep. yep. Absolutely. So uh, the biggest thing is people do not have a business plan and SBA spends a ton of money every year telling the small business people, you got to get a business plan and, and I'll help them or I'll send them to people that, that uh, in your location, that's actually close to you that help do a business plan. So hey, once what, they get that business plan together, go ahead, Matt. Um, well, I was, I was just curious. I wanted you to, wanted to, uh, you to describe what kind of services you offer to people on the business side of the cannabis industry, given that uh, I believe federally chartered banks can't do business with them still. Correct. <laughs> Right. And, and I've done, I've uh, handled about oh, over uh, half a billion dollars worth of applications in, in three years. Uh, you get up uh, and when you work with banks, you'll get up to certain levels till the legal department finally says, nope, we're not going to do it. <laughs> yep. And, and you, lawyers, you get approval right? through three committees and you get up to the fourth and the last committee in the and the the legal department says no no we're scared of it and then it's like okay we you know pigeonhole it on the deal uh, I've got banks that will say we're 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 doing cannabis and they really want the deposits but they want to charge people a thousand dollars a month service charge it's like I can't recommend you yeah. so uh, there's there are a few banks uh, in different states that will actually do like $250 a service charge instead of a thousand dollars a month. Well, 250 is still way too high. I mean, gosh, that's just uh, pretty high. And so what happens is people like, how do you get them approved? Well, what I wind up doing is, is the reports that you turn into the state governments that shows how much sales tax you have. I use the sales tax to prove their their income because they don't have bank statements. Yeah, good point. So that's uh, that's how you kind of get around that. And some lenders, some underwriters that we work with, some of them will take it, and some of them, some of them won't. So, uh, go ahead, Matt. You got some more questions? Well, no, that that was the main one that I had was uh, you know the services that you provide to the cannabis industry. Um, I, I would think, you know, with uh, we're headed toward what is it, 19 or 20 states now have have uh, legalized even uh, recreational use and more than that medical, I believe. So I, I would have to assume that we're headed toward, uh, you know, reclassification of it off schedule one. But uh, until that does, it's until that happens, it's a bit of an adventure. Yeah. Matter of fact, I, I just uh, emailed Mike a, a story in one of the. Uh, I'm, I'm based in Oklahoma. Uh, Oklahoma's got a state question that's coming up in November on um, recreational marijuana. And they've got the signatures now, enough signatures to get the question on the ballot. And it will pass. 
and there's 22, I think it's the article says there's 22 states that have the recreational marijuana. Well, so, there's another six or so just that'll do like Oklahoma's doing this fall. It's on the ballot in a number of states to go uh, recreational. But there's something in the neighborhood of 40, 42 that do medical marijuana, which is, right. uh, you know, you've got PTSD, you've got sleeping disorders, whatever. It's more of a medicine versus something to have fun with. Right. Well, that, that's that's the whole deal. It, there is a lot of medical uh, advantages of this instead of taking pills and opioids and having all these side effects. Uh, the med medical marijuana really, really helps people yeah. on the thing. So let's talk about some of the whether you're in the general business or whether you're in the cannabis or hemp business. Uh, I, I've looked at the lineup of your products. Let's talk a little bit about what all the things you can offer. Well, we, we do merchant credit cards account. Uh, we do the merchant advance. Not too many of those. Some people love those things. I don't uh, recommend them. But what I do is a lot of equipment financing uh, people. It's like, what kind of equipment? Any kind, anything that has a serial number has a value. Again, we'll go back to Kelly Blue Book. on a, If it's an automobile of any type, they'll give me a number that's value and then they'll give you a recommended loan value also on that deal. So there's a case that if you got serial, do not spend your money, business owners, do not spend your bit your money on capital, borrow the money on buy equipment, finance your equipment. And then because you can't borrow money on pay to make payroll. That's the hardest thing to get money is to borrow money on to make payroll. And that's what happens is like, keep that money in, in the bank for that. So uh, what happens whenever I first started this, uh, none of these people had bank accounts and I couldn't get them approved. They, I, the first year I did more money safes, financing for big money safes because people couldn't get the money in the bank. So they would buy these safes. And, these, and so I wound up financing big safes that bigger than jewelry stores have huh. yeah which is kind of kind of strange yeah and all they're doing is putting money in it well you also do land and buildings and things like that right oh yes we do commercial financing of all types uh we do uh accounts receivable financing which is invoice factoring uh the minute you Print a statement. If you're in invoicing or you're sending banks uh, a statement to another business and then you're having to wait for your money, I can turn that your statement into cash and then you don't have to wait. So those saying 210 net 30, um, this is way better because I can get your cash in 24 hours. Okay. And then uh, in terms of uh, buildings and land, uh, what, what's the requirements there? Well, typically on the, uh, on commercial buildings, they want the, the old rule was 80%. They'll finance 80%. At the moment, that number is going down actually uh, because of all the inflation, you're probably going to wind up at 70% mm. uh, of value because people are so scared of it. The underwriters, the market, just like the stock market, they've already adjusted to, to uh, all these questions. And it's like, okay, last year we would loan 80% loan to value. This year we're going to go 70% because we don't know. And same thing with land. Uh, if anybody on wants the, to buy land. Yeah, on the land. Uh, now I still help people do uh, uh, USDA loans, even though they're, they're, most people think they're farm loans, but they're, they have a BNI business and industrial. So there's a case where you get a USDA guarantee, which helps the bank, and we get, the, the, uh, get a loan guarantee from the USDA to help the bank, and that gets them approved. Okay, and, and, and uh, even in general business, what can you do for like if a general business wants to buy some land to put a building on or something? What, what can you help them with that? We can we can do that. We we do all kinds of commercial financing. 
uh, the first thing they need to do is go online, pull your own three-in-one credit report so you'll know what some other people's looking at. And then the second is what's your business plan? I get a uh, question last week. They said, well, how long should I ask for, for uh, payments? Five years or, or six or seven years? You know, it's like, what's your business plan say? That makes a difference. Don't don't make people guess what, what you want, but do your business plan. Here's what we're going to borrow. Here's how we're going to pay it back. We're going to pay it back in 120 months. Or maybe we're going to pay it back in 360 months, depending on the size of the loan. <clears throat> so there's a case that don't... Uh, don't ask for something that, that you don't know about. Put your business plan together and what can you service? Because you don't want to shorten it up and make your payments too high. And you can always pay it off early, right? You can always pay it off. I tell people, people ask, what kind of interest rate? At, in today's market, it doesn't really matter. The only thing is, do not do a loan that has a prepayment penalty. Yeah. So as long as they may start out, you may have started out with a bank or, or you may have talked to a bank a year ago and they were going to charge you 7%. And today it's 10. It's, it's like, it's probably going to be 12 or 14 before it closes. It doesn't really matter at this moment. Get your business plan. Make sure the loan's not a prepayment penalty because as soon as you get that, <clears throat> we can start getting refinanced at a cheaper rate. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. <coughs> Any other tips uh, that you want to provide folks out there, Bob? Well, the biggest thing, now this is for the, the hemp people. If you've, you're on, you're, you're operating in a cash only business. You can't grow any faster till you get credit terms. So credit terms will help you grow. Whether you're the grower, the greenhouse operation, or the farmer, whether you're the laboratory, or whether you're the retail store, without credit, you can't grow any faster than what you have cash in your pocket. Right. So if you want to grow, this, you know, this is the way you would do it. Contact Mike, he'll get with me, and we'll work out the your business plan will get you started on business plan. 